welcome back guys in today's video we will be creating splash screen in react native android make sure to follow each and every steps without wasting any time let's get started so we have a bare react native app created using react native init command now this app does not have a splash screen yet see so now first thing first we need a library and we need to install that name react native splash screen i will close the running terminal and write uh, npm i once the library is installed we will do react native link all right next thing we need to do is get our splash screen image i have mine ready i can go to all right here is my splash image i will copy it now go to android then go to app src main inside res there we will find minmap so inside each of them i would paste this image i will reveal in file folder okay paste it paste it same for rest of the three all right the dimension of the splash image is 1875 pixel cross 4060 pixel you can take any dimension just maintain a common aspect ratio for larger and smaller devices i will close this once splash screen is there let's create a folder in the rest directory name it drawable Inside drawable, create a file named background underscore splash XML. Background underscore splash dot XML file will contain the location where our splash dot PNG is located. So we will write the code. All right. I'll save it. Uh, Android gravity fill tells us about to fill the whole canvas of android whole of the window next thing we need to do is create a new folder named layout inside layout we need to create a new file launch underscore screen dot xml launch underscore screen file is necessary by the library react native splash screen it is kind of a important thing to always add After that, go to the styles.xml file under values folder. And we'll add the style for splash theme inside it. Okay. All right. Now let's go to android.manifest. Here, first of all, remove intent filter from main activity on top of this main activities activity we will add another right some indentations yeah splash activity will will be responsible for rendering the splash screen all right one more thing inside main activity we need to add 
Android colon export it true. Okay, once this is done, we are done with Android manifest file. Save it. No. Yeah, save it. Next thing we need to create a splash activity Java file inside Java folder. You can find it over here. Okay. All right. Be careful that the package name matches the ones with your project. You can verify your uh, package name and main activity file see on the top line okay save this next step is to go to main activity java file add a couple of imports after that we need to tell it to render the instance that we have just created and add it on the top of this function All right. Next thing we need to do is come out of the Android folder, go to app.js, and here we need to import a React Native Splash screen. Come to app function inside here, we will configure a use effect. This use effect will run only when the application loads for first time. The array is empty so that it could be run at the first time. I will write splash screen dot hide. I'll save it. Let's again run react native run android from the terminal. says development server return response error code okay maybe we need to close the metro server i will write npm start i will press reload bingo so we have our splash screen already there the until the bundle is being created our splash screen is there that's it for the video guys if you really like the video please press the like button if you have any queries any suggestions or any questions feel free to comment down below keep supporting me by subscribing this channel i will meet you in next video until then bye bye